Now, Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 15, I will pray with my spirit, but I will also pray with my understanding. I will sing with my spirit, but I will also sing with my understanding. This is John Bunyan. Many would have watched the movie, The Pilgrim's Progress. The story is based on the book of the same title by John Bunyan. But if you have not, please, please watch it. I love the animated version. In his sermon, Praying in the Spirit, John Bunyan said, Prayer is a command of God and is to be practiced both in public and in private. Yes, such a command brings those that have the spirit of prayer into great intimacy with God. And the prevailing prayer will receive great things from God, both for the person that prayed and for those that are prayed for. Prayer opens the heart of God and is a means by which the empty soul is filled. By prayer, the Christian can open his heart to God as to a friend and obtain fresh testimony of God's friendship to him. So tonight, we will spend time praying in tongues. For if I pray in tongue, my spirit prays, says Paul in 1 Corinthians 14, 14. Let us engage the Holy Spirit within us. For as written in Romans 8, verses 26 and 27, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. So let us allow the Holy Spirit to take charge, to lead our prayers, to pray according to God's will. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide us to pray according to God's will for our personal situation, our family, our church, our government, our nation, and for the people of the world. Let us pray in tongues to stir up, to build up, and strengthen our inner man, our spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to awaken our soul and spirit to the things of God. For it is written in 1 Corinthians 14, 4, anyone who speaks in a tongue edifies themselves. That's in the New International Version. In the English Standard Version, the one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself. And in the Living Bible, it says, a person speaking in tongues helps himself grow spiritually. So if there's anyone here that has yet to receive the gift of speaking in tongues, and you would like to receive this gift, then I would like to encourage you that as your brothers and sisters are praying in tongues, you begin by praising God. You immerse yourself in the presence of God and open up your heart to God. You can start with saying, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise you, Lord, hallelujah. Or you can praise God in your own language, whether it's Mandarin, Hokkien, Tamil, Cantonese, and keep doing so. Because keep your tongue moving. As you speak, your tongue moves. And if you feel a stirring within you that is like it's rushing out, prompting you to utter a different sound or an unknown word or, or that your tongue is moving in a different way, do not be afraid. Ask the Holy Spirit who is in you to lead you, to guide you. Jesus said, everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. If our Heavenly Father freely gives the Holy Spirit to those who ask, then how much more will the Holy Spirit within you grant you your desire to receive his gift? So just continue to move your tongue, praise him. And as the Holy Spirit gives you utterance, just speak out.
Praying in tongues is uh, your choice. You can do it every day, or you can do it once a while. But I recommend that you do it every day. So spiritually, you get uh, link up with the Lord, and the Holy Spirit will carry all your frustration and whatever that you have, or something that you don't even know that you have, and then you bring it to the Lord. Sometimes you get you know very stressed up and you don't know why, and the Holy Spirit will you know take all that. Before the Lord, because God loved you, that's why He gave you a handphone. Uh, speaking in tongue is like a handphone, where you you dial directly to God. All right, and uh, can you speak in tongue and don't become spiritual? Yes, of course. You, you just you know make a lot of noise, and then you are not really your heart is not focusing on the Lord. Then you are just making a lot of noise. Everybody knows how to make a lot of noise. You know, baby can make a lot of noise and. Meaningless noise, yeah? But when you pray in tongues, like just now when we pray in tongues and you focus upon the Lord and that you are bringing everything out, okay? And then you you you, you just let it go. Just let it go. And, and this is an exercise that you have to learn. You you know, it's just like a child. You, you, you are not born to be able to speak uh, straight away. It means that you can talk to God straight away. So when you're being born again, you need to learn how to speak. And then uh, some of you maybe have been Christian for a long time, but you are still like not being able to connect with God. But uh, you are in this church now. And in this church, we will encourage you to connect. That's why on the Faith Power Night, uh, the first thing you do is what? Uh, you worship and then you meditate. Yeah. And then teaching you how to listen to the voice of God. And then you find that... Uh, uh, it's not us pastors doing this, but you see uh, all the ordinary uh, believers are able to, to do this. So this is not like, oh, this is only a pastoral thing. No, no, no. This is a, every believer can do this and you can. And then you can have victorious lifestyle. And that's what we want. 